Okay, for this video, we're going to talk about the topic of angles for the uh, preparation of the end semester test for grade 7. Okay, so let's just start number 1 here. Uh, the instruction is for number 1 till 14, find the value for the all unknown variables. Okay, so in here we have this one is the variable that we're looking for for number 1. And uh, in here, the first thing that we need to see for number 1 is that we have this two lines right and we have this uh arrow here the so this arrow means that those two lines are parallel okay so they are parallel and then we know that we have this one we call it the transfer cell right so if e uh, if like two or more lines they are parallel and then it's being cut by a transfer cell uh they'll always there will only be two values of uh, angle so for example if this is 68 so this one over here this is the opposite angle of that this is also going to be 68 so if i go down here so this is also is equal to 68 and over here is also equal to 68 right so yeah and then um the other one so you can see that if i want to find this angle over here so we know that this angle this one and this one if i go from here to here it's going to be straight line right so remember that straight line is equals to Straight angle, sorry, straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. So if I add uh, this angle with this angle, that will be equal to 180 degrees. So uh, if, let's say I'm going to uh, find this one over here. So that one, let's name that with A, for example. So A is equal to 180 minus 68, right? Because if I add these two angles, they will be 180 degrees. So A will be equal to 112. So like I said before, if... Uh, in uh, this uh, kind of case, you will only get two values of angle in here, like this is 68, this is 68, this is 68, and this is 68. So if this is 112, this is also 112, this is also 112, and this is also 112, meaning that the x is equals to 112 degree, okay? Next question number two. In here, we have uh, 58, and this is x, and this sign over here, uh, 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 meaning that it's 90 degree okay so again guys this is uh, what we call a like complementary angle so if we add this angle with this angle that will be equal to 90 degree because this sign over here is a 90 degree angle so if I write down in um, algebraic form there will be uh, x plus 58 equals to 90 degree right and that will be x equals to subtract both sides by 58 and you'll get equals to 32 degree that's it number three and here we have 72 we have 78 and this is x and this is a straight line like we have previously uh discussed in question number one a straight line is or a straight angle is a equals to 180 degree so if i go from here going here that'll be 180 degree so which means that if i add this if i add this if i add this right all of them if i add them together they will be equals to 180 so if we write this down as an algebraic uh, equation that will be x plus 72 plus 78 equals to 180 so i'm gonna simplify this one that'll be 150 equals to 180 and then subtract both sides by 150 and then x will be equals to 30. number four in here we have this angle here right this is a g and then this is also g this is what we're looking for this is 32 and this is this one this one remember that it, this is a uh, right angle in which this is going to be 90 degree and again the concept are still the same in here we can see that this is a straight line right so which means that uh, if i drag an angle from here to here that will be equal to 180 degree so which means that if i add this plus this plus this plus this they'll be equal to 180 degree okay so if i draw if i uh, write down the equation that will be g plus 90 plus g plus 32 right this plus this plus this plus this right that'll be equals to 180 degree okay so i'm gonna add degree here so simplify the one on the left side we have g plus g uh simplify that you will get 2g right and then i'm gonna add 90 plus 132 which is 122 degree equals to 180 degree and then subtract both sides by 122 degree 
and that will be equals to uh, 58, right? 5, 7, 8, 9, oops, sorry. Uh, 5, seven, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this uh, divide both sides by 2, so that will be 58 divided by 2, and that will be equals to uh, 29. Number five, in here we have uh, this variable is the variable that we are going to find. We have 109 over here and 121 over here, and this is what we're looking for again. Can you see that this is a like a full circle, right? So if I go from here going back here, it's like a full circle, and that will be equal to 360 degrees. So the concepts are still the same. So if I add this plus this plus this, that will be equal to 360. So if I write down as an equation, I can have P plus 109 plus 121 equals to 360. I'm going to simplify the one on the left side. That will be one, 230 uh, equals to 360. And then I'm going to subtract both sides by 230. right? And that P is going to be equal to 130. Okay, number six. Uh, again, guys, the same concept in here. Uh, that we have two uh, variables that we are going to find. Okay, let's now find one, one, one by one. So um, we're going to focus on the U first. Okay, and here, uh, this is a right angle, right? So it's the 90 degree. And this U and this 74 makes a right angle, meaning that if I add the U and 74, and that will be equal to 90 degree. So if I write down an equation, so the U plus 74 equals to 90. So subtract both sides by... Uh, 74 so u equals to 90 minus 74 and then there'll be u equals to 16 so that's the u value so i'm gonna write down 16 over here guys so this is this is 16 and this is also 16 because this is also u okay now uh to find the w is actually uh going back to the previous number the previous question like this if i go from here and going back here again that'll be 360 degree right so which means that if i add this plus this plus this plus this it'll be equals to 360. so the equation will be u plus 74 plus u plus w equals to 360. Okay, now simplify uh, on the left side. I have, uh, oh sorry guys, I forgot to change it. So since we know that the u is 16, I'm going to change that to 16. And uh, this one 16, and this is also 16, right? So I'm going to leave the other one as 74. And then plus w, the w that is the one that we're looking for. And then uh, add all of them, there'll be uh, 106 over here. So if I simplify this, if I add them together, there'll be 106 plus W equals to 360. And then subtract both sides by 106. Uh, okay, and then W be equals to 254 degree. Okay, number seven, and here we have a triangle. And we have this variable is the one that we're looking for. And in here we have a 25 over here, and this is a right angle. So we know that right angle is 90 degree. So let's just write down 90 degree. Okay, so the the concept of angles in a triangle is that if we add them all, it will always be equal to 180 degree. Okay, so I'm gonna write down here the sum of angles, the sum of angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degrees so if i add this plus this plus this that'll be equals to 180 degree okay now if i write it down as an equation that'll be c plus 90 plus 25 equals to 180 i'm going to simplify the one on the left side and that'll be 115 equals to 180 and then i'm going to subtract both sides by 115 and that'll be equals to 65. In the next question here, we have a quadrilateral. Okay, quadrilateral means that we have a four-sided shape like this, right? So uh, the, the 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 concept is previously in a triangle, the sum of the angles is 180 degree. The sum of the angle in a triangle is 180. If uh, we have a quadrilateral, the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So I'm going to write down here, guys. The concept is that the sum sum of angles in a quadrilateral is equals to 360 degree so what does that mean it means that if i add this plus this plus this plus this they'll be equals to 360 okay so if i write this down as an equation there'll be x plus 45 plus 85 plus 105 
equals to 360. I can simplify and add all of these. And that will be equals to, wait, let me think, 8, 12, 12, 13, 13, uh, 13, uh, 235 uh, equals to 360. And then subtract both sides by 235. And x will be equals to 125. Okay, next question. Uh, this over here, so we're going to use two concepts here, uh, which uh, are the supplementary angle and the angle in a triangle. So, in here we have a triangle actually, right? So this is a triangle, but we don't know all of the angles here, right? But we can find all of the angle one by one, okay? So, I'm gonna start with this one over here. Okay, that one over there is, uh, in here, this one is uh, going to be this one, right? So this is a, a straight angle right so that'll be 180 degrees if i add this and this that'll be equal to 180 degrees so i can write that as an equation of x plus 130 equals to 180 so which means that if i subtract both sides by 130 so x will be equals to 50. i'm gonna write that 50 over here okay okay and then um the next one that I'm going to uh, find is the y. Since we have the same concept as when we find the x, the x l will be supplementary or make 180 degree with 100, uh, 180 degree with 130. So for the y, it's going to make 180 degree with this one, right? The 112. So if I add those two uh, angle, that'll be 180. So if I uh, find that, uh, that'll be y plus 112 equals to 180 subtract both sides by 112 and you've got 68 okay i'm gonna write down 68 over here okay and the last one is this one since we know that the z x and y are our angles in a triangle so if i add them all it will be equals to 180 degree so if, if i add z plus 68 degree plus 50 degree they'll be equals to 180 degree again because that is the angle in a triangle then we know that the concept is the sum of the angle in a triangle is 180 degree so if i write it down there'll be z plus 68 degree plus uh, 50 degree equals to 180 degree okay i'm gonna simplify the one on the left side there will be plus 118 uh, degree equals to 180 degree uh, which means that we're gonna subtract both sides by 118 degree and z will be equals to 62 degree number 10 so we have this shape this is a quadrilateral because we have four sides one two three four right so which means that uh, the angle sum of the angles inside of this quadrilateral will be always equals to 360 degree okay so if i add this I apply it with this add with this add with this they'll be equals to 360 degree so let's just write down the first one is 15 plus 4x which is this one and then plus 131 which is this one and then plus 97 which is this one and then plus 57 which is this one and it will be equals to 360 degree okay so now i'm going to simplify the uh, the expression on the left side there'll be 4x just leave it like that and then add them together here you'll get 300 so this is 4x plus 300 okay so 300 comes from 15 plus 131 plus 97 plus 57 is going to be equals to 300 here that'll be equals to 360 and then subtract both sides by 300 so that'll be 360 minus 300 and 4x equals to 60 and then divide both sides by 4 and that leaves the one on the left side just x and this is 60 divided by 4 and x just equals to 15. Okay, number 11. Uh, okay, guys, I forgot to mention that this point here, the O is the center point of uh, the circle. Here we have a circle, and then we have this is 75, and this is what we're looking for. And then uh, if we're talking about circle, guys, and the angles in here, this is what we call the, uh, this one is we call the center angle, center angle. Uh, since we have like two points on the circumference and then you uh, uh, like make a radius from uh, that two uh, points to the center point and if it makes an angle over here this is what we call a center angle and then if we if we have another point uh, like uh, like on the circumference for example like this one and if I drag from this x and z here uh, also from the uh, the circumference of the circle and this is what we call the inscribed angle the inscribed angle 
So the connection between the center angle and the inscribe angle is that the uh, inscribe angle is always half of the center angle. Or the other way around is the center angle is always going to be twice of the center angle. Oh, sorry, this other angle is going to be twice of the inscribe angle. Yeah, sorry. So which means that if I have uh, the center angle is uh, 75, so this one over here is going to be half of that. So x will be just 72 divided by 2, right? And that will be equals to, uh, I think it's 37.5. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, another explanation uh, on, on this one is that if I have, for example, like point over here, let's say it's point A. If I drag a line from X again to A and then uh, from Z to A, so this angle is also going to be 37.5. So this is again what we call the inscribe angle. Okay, number 12. Uh, I forgot to put something over here, guys. Uh, the first one is this one. This is point O. For, uh, the O is the center angle. Uh, sorry, the center point. Uh, the center point of a uh, circle. Okay, and then uh, we have this one here, and then we have A and B uh, as the uh, point on the circumference, and the C is also a point on the circumference. Now, uh, find the value of x. So in here, actually, we are going to use the same concept as the previous question, this one, as the inscribed angle and the center angle. And here, the center angle is going to be this one, right? And that'll be 180 degree, right? Because it's a straight line, which means that this one over here is going to be half of that because that is the inscribed angle. And this one is goes going to be 90 degrees degree okay so which means that we have a triangle over here so if I uh, make that triangle I'm gonna like take it from here and I'm gonna put that into other place so let's say this one over here so uh, we have this is as 90 degree and this is X and this is 42 right as previously we know that the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree so if I add if we add the X plus 42 plus 90 that will be equal to 180 so if we write down the equation that will be like this right and if I simplify this 132 180 so subtract both sides by 132 and that'll be equals to 48. Okay, number 13. Determine the value of A and B from the picture. Okay, now uh, for A, we can't just go and find that because we also we have another variable that we haven't found out yet. So we're going to look for the B first for this time. And we know that the B and the 61 makes a straight angle, right? The 180 degree. So which means that if I add B with the 61, they'll be equal to 180 degree. So if I write down the equation, there'll be B plus 61 or this plus this, they'll be equal to 180 degree because we know that this is a straight line, right? Straight line makes 180 degree. So subtract both sides by 61. And you will get 119. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna erase this. Just gonna write down this as 119 over here. So, which means that uh, this A uh, relates all of them. So, this is a quadrilateral, right? So, uh, remember previously that the sum of the angle in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. So, in here we have this sign over here, which means that that is going to be 90 degrees. So, if I add A, plus 119 plus 90 plus 58 that will be equals to 360 so i'm gonna write down the equation over here so that will be a plus 90 this one over here plus 119 this one over here and then plus 58 this one over here equals to 360 don't include this one because that is outside the uh quadrilateral okay so we, we're done using for that one for a question uh, for finding the value of b for this one yeah okay now simplify the one on the left side so the expression on the left side That'll be 267 plus 267 equals to 360. And then uh, subtract both sides by 267. And then A will be equals to uh, 93, I think. Okay, let me see. Let me use my calculator for this one. Yeah, it is 93. Okay, number 14. Uh, we have two variables in here, which are X and Y. We have X over here like so many x in here and then we have y over here so don't get confused for this one guys so remember that uh just understand the concept that's it right so in here we have a quadrilateral right one two three four but it's being separated like this so instead of using the quadrilateral we're going to use the concept of a triangle so uh we need to choose which one do we need to find first okay so for example uh we have this one over here right this is a triangle and um, in here if I using this one uh, to find one of the variables it's gonna be hard because we have two variables over here right 
we have x and y. Uh, instead, we're going to find this one first. Then again, y, because this is triangle, and we only have one variables, right? So it doesn't have any y, it's only have x in it. So uh, using the, the concept of the sum of the angle of an inner triangle is 180 degree, we can actually find the value of x. So if I add this plus this plus this, they'll be equal to 180 degree because those ang angles are in a triangle. So I'm going to write down the equation. So the first one is x plus 7 from here. And then add that with 3x minus 18. Sorry. Minus 18 is this one over here. And then add that with x minus 9 is over here. And that will be equals to 180 degree. Okay, now simplify the uh, expression on the left side. We have <coughs> x and then plus 3x and then plus x. That will be 5x. And I have... Uh, 7 uh, minus 18 minus 9 and that will be uh, I think it's uh, minus 20 yeah minus 20 equals to 180 yeah okay and then uh, subtract oh, sorry add both sides by 20 there will be 5x equals to 180 plus 20 and that will be equals to 200 so divide both sides by 5 there will be 200 divided by 5 so x equals to 40 Okay, now we have found the x. Now let's find the value of y. So since we already know that the value of x is 40, we can actually change or substitute these two x by 40. So if I change this into 40, there will be 40 plus 6, uh, 21, and this angle will be 61 because 40 plus 21 is equal to 61. The same thing with this one, right? So I get x equals to 40. So if I add 40 with 17, that will be equal to 57. And since we know that this is a triangle, right, and the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree meaning that if i add y plus 57 plus 61 that will be equals to 180 degree so the equation will be y plus 61 plus 57 equals to 180 so y plus uh, 118 equals to 180 subtract both sides by 118 and that will be equals to 62